Woolworths reports full year results on the 23rd of August. Hello, I'm Kyle Rodder, and in this week's bonus edition of Investor Spotlight, we discuss what to expect from this year's results, provide an overview of what analysts say about the stock, and analyze ourselves the retailer's investment outlook. Woolworths is expected to post growth on its top and bottom lines for FY23. Data compiled by Reuters suggests analysts project a 5.3% rise in revenues for the full year, with net income tipped to rise by almost 15%. Unlike most other businesses, Woolworths has benefited from the higher inflation environment in Australia. Rising food prices and consumers' ability to absorb them have boosted Woolworths' food business, with food price inflation expected to remain relatively elevated. Investors see continued tailwinds for the retailers' revenues. Easing business costs as operating conditions normalised post-COVID lockdowns could bolster Woolworths' bottom line. The cost of goods sold jumped in 2023. However, the pace of these increases is likely to normalise going forward as logistics and input cost pressures diminish. Labour costs could be an issue flagged by Woolworths as Australian wages rise, however. Some risks remain around Woolworths' other business segments. Declines in apparel and other goods spending will likely weigh on profits for the big W brand. Given the likely moderation in household spending in the year ahead, the dynamic could dampen Woolworths' profit outlook. Importantly, as a much-loved defensive stock, investors expect an increase in Woolworths' payout this year. According to FN Arena, the full-year dividend is forecast to rise 12.1% to $1.03 per share in FY23. Currently, analysts estimate a further 7% increase in dividends in FY24. Woolworths' share price has run up significantly in 2023. Although it remains off its highs reached in the COVID-19 everything rally, the valuation is, is historically elevated. As a result, the analyst community is mixed on the stock's attractiveness. Currently, Woolworths' shares boast a consensus hold rating, with two recommending a strong buy and six a simple buy, but four suggesting a hold and another prescribing a sell. The consensus price target roughly aligns with the present price of $39.40 per share. Meanwhile, IG clients are bullish towards Woolworths shares. As of the 16th of August, 68% of clients are long and 32% are short. Although not at extremes, this could be a contrarian signal and point to a market that is priced in a lot of good news for the stock. However, only a small number of clients possess an open position in the trade. Having run up in 2023, Woolworths shares appear richly valued. Although lower than the high seen in the early stages of the pandemic, the company's trailing price to earnings ratio is higher than its peers and at a robust 27.2 times. Investors seek Woolworths for its defensive and income paying qualities. The stock has been a solid bulwark this year. The stock's price elevated has meant the dividend is growing less attractive, however, the current dividend yield is 2.6%, with FN Arena data suggesting it should lift modestly to 2.9% in FY24. While on a risk-adjusted basis, this is relatively attractive compared to other ASX-listed companies, deposit rates and bond yields above 3% mean safer income can be found in other assets. The technicals are signalling downside momentum for Woolworths shares now. The weekly RSI is grinding lower, while short-term trendline support has recently broken down. The stock is being sold on rallies above $40, with support potentially at the 200-week moving average and the last higher low at $37.20. In the bigger picture, buyers have emerged below the $34 per share level.